Hello everyone. Today we are in the Butteroo National Park in New South Wales in the sort of southern southern Highlands area. We're going to be doing a walk to the famous Gerringong Falls, which I think is meant to be a 180 metre high waterfall, the tallest in the southern Highlands, and there's quite a few tall ones around here. Um, it's a long walk, um, relatively you know out of the way compared to Fitzroy Falls and the other kind of nearby ones. Um, 18 k's return, 17 k's of that is on a dirt road like I'm on right now, and then there's a very steep and difficult one kilometre bush bash, well not bush bash, very rough trail uh, down to the base of the fall. So I'll be showing you how to get down there basically with any luck, provided I make it. Um, and yeah, it's a nice day for walking, middle of winter, but mild, sunny, should be a good day out. Been a lot of this the last 45 minutes. Not a lot worth filming. Alrighty, so after about an hour and 15, we've arrived at the turn off, the Hershey Fire Trail. So it's, um, we've done six Ks in that hour and 15, which is a pretty good clip. And now it's 2.5 Ks from here to the turn off to the base of the falls. So yeah on this road now, and a very wide fire trail. Nothing very interesting has happened since the last film. It's been pretty much just this sort of terrain, pretty flat. You really want to come with a bike, ideally, to knock over this part of the, the trip pretty quick. Alrighty, so we've come to this no vehicles past this point sign. Now the route I have says the trail of the falls is 150 metres back that way. There is, however, a little trail that goes in here, which Sophie has taken. Apparently it leads to a cliff. So we're going to check out this view, which looks rather impressive. Wow. Very impressive. See into the gorge, an unnamed waterfall across there, which you can just faintly see. Spectacular. And that is where we're going, all the way down there. Let's do it. Okay, so we're probably 200 meters back from the sign, which is just around the corner there a little bit. So sort of just as the um, road sort of goes from being right on, the trees come right up to the actual edge of the road, to where it's sort of here, you have this big clearing. There's kind of a chunky tree there. And trails go in here. Now, I've read there are sort of two trails that lead off, which is correct. This one to the right. Allegedly that ends up 200 meters and we're meant to follow the one to the left. So that's what we're gonna do. And it looks pretty well trodden so far. Anyways, 1.1 Ks to the base of the falls along this track, but Apparently very difficult, so we're going to see how we go. So, it kind of looks like the track goes that way. There are a couple of pink ribbons, but it also looks like it goes to the edge of a cliff a little bit. So, this trail to the right here looks somewhat better to me. So we're going to try and do that. There's quite a few sort of little trails that lead off around the place, but I think if you just play it by ear and go where you think looks the least dangerous, it's probably the way to go. It's normally a good rule of thumb. But clearly a fairly well-trodden trail for one that's not at all officially maintained or made. Well, we kind of went that way, and then we've come back this way, and sort of haven't really gone very far. Um, but we've come to this pretty cool view of what I'm going to call Little Gerringong Falls, until I find a better name for it. And it's really not at all little, it's a big, big waterfall, just not a lot of water. There's two tiers to it. Um, also a pretty cool view into the valley but yeah as you can see we haven't made much progress down the hill and we sort of spent 15 minutes going not very far now we find a way down these cliffs so i'll let you know how we go okay so we've come to this big boulder and you can see a pink sort of arrow there 
trail also sort of there's an arrow there it looks like it goes off that way we did explore that way and it didn't look very promising but if you head down here we come to the famous chimney and that's our way down This is where we have to go down, this little hole. Just behind the big bowler I was just filming at before. Bit of a tight squeeze. So this is the famous chimney of Garangong Falls. A couple of locals very helpfully guiding us down. Um, but it's pretty intense. You're kind of just lowering yourself on that rope. There's a few handy footholds, which you need, obviously. Ugh. I tell you, I tell you when we sort of left the dry forest, you can see the cliffs up there, pretty impressive, and a long way up. Um, just sort of entering the rainforest as we descend further down the valley. It's kind of a bit of half, like halfway between sort of subtropical rainforests of Queensland and the Tasmanian rainforest. You've got these sort of ferns and also sort of the more viney stuff as well. It's interesting. And those cliffs are epic. Looking straight up there. Little dribbling waterfall. Sort of actually climbed up a little bit now, which is not what I expected. And then we're sort of heading down these boulder fields. Still a fair ways off the base of the falls, which is just around the corner there. So, sort of been travelling along this cliff line here towards the waterfall. Um, as you can see, very easy path to follow. It's still rough, obviously, but you can't really get lost. In spite of that, someone's decided to paint an enormous amount of spray painted markers on trees and rocks. You can see more down there. It's very ugly. I don't know why people feel the need to do this. If you can't find the, follow this route by eyes, you should not be attending this track, to be honest. Um, anyways, don't spray paint trees, it's stupid. <laughs> There's my PSA for today. Not far off the falls though. Well, pretty pretty good old adventure to get down here. Actually, not that hard since the chimney bit, to be honest. But we have arrived at Yerengong Falls and it is pretty spectacular. I think it's, I've read 180 meters high. I reckon it's probably a little less than that, but it is a big old falls. Not quite at the base yet. I'll be there in a minute. Just spectacular though. It is pretty bloody epic. Um, I've shown you a few shots already, but I've been exploring around the base of the falls. Epic cavern right behind it. Um, I'm standing directly in front of it now after a bit of a funny old scramble on these big boulders behind me. I'll give you a look at it. I'm right in front. It's at least 120 metres high, I reckon. Maybe even more. It's very, very tall. 120 metres is probably a safe estimate, I think. Epic cavern behind it. Now look up here. One of those over, um, overhanging rocks there is the upper lookout for the falls, which we'll be at in a while. And then the impressive cliffs downstream. But yes, this is Garangong Falls. It's going to take some beating for the best waterfall in the Southern Highlands. It's definitely the clubhouse leader so far. Pretty spectacular.
Alrighty, so we've come back from the track now and walking towards the top of the falls past this sign. And um, pretty much we're at the top of the falls on the um, left bank of it, I suppose. Um, and then sort of a little trail should lead us around to a lookout. So we're going to check that out. Um, we'll see when we get there. It's, I think it's only about 100, 200 metres from here. Not very far at all. Um, but yeah, five minutes walk tops, I think, from memory. Anyways, we'll see what we see. Okay, so a few minutes further on, we've hit Garangong Creek, which looks pretty puny from up here. Um, there's a track over that side. Not really sure where that leads exactly, but I'm pretty sure we have to follow the creek itself downstream to the top of the waterfall, which isn't too far away. I think only about 100 metres or so from what I've read. So we'll do that and see how we go. Well, we are now on top of Garangong Falls, only 100 metres or so, as I thought from where I was last filming. A sort of second creek flows in just there, it's the one we were going down on. And here we are, the falls. Kind of cool, it's like blowing up a little bit. Over there is the lookout we'll be heading to. I'm not too keen to get much closer, it's pretty breezy, but it's an impressive view. Alrighty, so we've arrived at the upper lookout for Garangong Falls. Very impressive viewpoint and a good alternative if you don't have the time slash can't be bothered to go to the bottom. Um, I'll give you a look around. Here's the falls. You can just about see the whole drop. Probably just, you just missed the bottom sort of tier of it, but you can see about three quarters of the total thing. And pan around a little bit. Impressive views into the gorge. Probably not quite as good as that other uh, lookout from earlier. And looking down the base of the falls. So we are on the fire trails again now. We've just come off the Hersey fire trail. I know I called it Hershey earlier, but it's not as Hersey. Um, so we've got another six, task, six Ks to go along the Butteroo Mountain Road fire trail. Um, but I'm gonna wrap the view up now because there's not gonna be anything more to see really. It's a bloody epic walk to be honest. Um, I would definitely not come back with bikes to kill all this boring road working because it really, um, road walking. It really kind of takes it out of you and it's not all that interesting. But the falls are amazing. Really kind of fun hike down to the base, like difficult and dangerous if you're not careful, but it wasn't like scrub bashing, it was sort of like fun rock climbing and stuff, if that's what you're into. If you're not, there's a pretty easy walk to look at at the top, which is also very impressive. I think it's the tallest of the waterfalls around the Southern Highlands, not the strongest flowing, but we'll see how it compares to the ones we see Tomorrow we're going to go to Fitzroy and Belmore and Carrington and the popular ones further along the road. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you where we go tomorrow.